Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Easy Food Series. And in this video, we will start designing the home fragment. So, as you can see, this is the home fragment that we are going to design. Now, first of all, we have a text view with a search icon at the top of the screen. And below of them, we have another text view. What would you like to eat? And now we have a random meal. This random meal will show in a card view. Then we have another text view over popular items and below of it we have a horizontal recycler view and here category takes a view and then recycler view for the categories now let's start designing this but before that we need to add some libraries so open your build the gradle file the second one and go to your dependencies now you need to add three libraries and these two libraries will take care of changing of the screen sizes so instead of giving db or sp units you will give sdb and ssp i think it's so simple and you will see that when we get to it also we're going to use this library which will show the loading animation once you added these libraries click on sync now and by the way i will leave all dependencies in the description of this video now we need to add the font that we are going to use so click on res file and go to new now choose android resource file and here change the values to font and now put a name but don't use capital letters because it will give you an error and now ok now you can delete this we don't need it and now copy this file I will leave the download link of this font in the description go back to android studio and paste it in font file Alright, now let's start designing the home fragment. So, go to the layout file and open fragment home. Now, let me delete this. Make sure that you are using constraint layout. So, as you can see, we have a text view, home text view at the top with a search icon. So, let's design this. I'm gonna put them in a linear layout and it's going to be a, a horizontal one. So this is going to be a match parent and wrap content for the height. And now let's give it an ID. And as you can see, there's a margin from the start and this margin is going to be 30 SDB. Also margin from the top, 10 SDB and margin from the end, 20 SDB. Now the orientation as we said is going to be horizontal and now let's add the constraints it's gonna be a constraint from the start to the start of the parent and constraint from the top to the top of the parent and now we close it now in this linear layout, we are going to have a text view, the home text view and the search icon. So now here we're going to create a text view and it's going to be a wrap content, wrap content for both of the height and the width. Let's give it an ID and now set the font, the font we added, my font. Also the text is going to be home and the text color is accent, the text size is 25 SSP and text style is bold. Now let's add the search icon is going to be an image view and wrap content wrap content and scale type is center crop that means it will fit all the space and now we need to create the search icon so go to drawable file right click and new now victor asset and choose the search icon from here now we're gonna use this one and change its name to icon then click on next and finish now in here we need to add this icon so src and then give it the icon we just created and as you can see the icon looks so small so i'm gonna change the height to match parent and the width to 30 as db now it looks good now we need the search icon to be at the end of the linear layout so the way to do that is by giving this home uh, this home text view a weight so uh, I'm gonna give it a weight let's give it three uh, I think that's good and now we need to add this text view below the home 
but you need to add it out of the linear layout scope. So here we're gonna create a text view. And this is gonna be a wrap content for the both height and width. And now margin top 10 as DB. And the font family is the font we added. The text is what would you like to eat? And the text color is going to be black. And the text size is 20 SSP. Now the text style is bold. And now the constraints. So we're going to have a constraint from the top of this text view to the bottom of the linear layout. So here you write top and bottom linear header. And another constraint from the start to the start of the linear layout. Now this text kind of look big so I'm gonna reduce its size from here. I think 15 will be okay. Let's compare it to our design. Uh, then let, let it be like 17. Yeah, that's that's look good. Now, as we said for the random meal, we're going to have a card view that has an image view. Now, let's go here and create a card view. And the width will be match parent and the height 200 SDP. Now, it's gonna have a margin from the start, 25 SDP. And margin from the end. Also margin from the top, but this time 10 SDB. Now we need to have a round corners, so we need to add a radius to the corners. 10 SDB. And now card use combat padding, set it to true. This will show a shadow, as you can see, this shadow. And now we need to add the constraints. Constraint from the start to the start of the parent and end with the end of the parent and top of the bottom of the text view uh, of the above text view which is this one we forgot to provide it an ID so I'm gonna write its ID now and now um, here all right that's cool now close the card view and it's going to have an image view now image view it's going to take all the card views, so match parent for both of the height and the width. And let's give it an ID. And this is going to be image random meal. And I want to add an ID for the card view random meal card. Now I need to add a color for this to see how it looks like. As you can see, that's good. Leave it that way. Now in our design, we have another text view over popular items with a recycler view below it. So let's implement that. I'm not gonna talk for this part and I'm gonna speed up the video because I think you know the drill. So we just gonna create the text view and add the constraints. Alright, so now we're done with this text view. Now we need to have a recycler view in here. So let's add it. It's gonna be a wrap content for the width and wrap content for the height. Give it an ID. I think we made a mistake here is going to be at 120 SDP and this is going to have a margin from the start 
25 SDB and from the end 10 SDB now other constraints we need to add constraint with this uh, with this text view so let me just add an ID Alright, so we have our recycle review here. And now we have a category text view. I'm gonna speed up the video and uh, design this really quick because it's it's simple. I think you know the drill, so just follow it. All right, now the last thing, don't forget to provide an ID. We still have one thing, which is the recycle review of the categories. But if you notice that uh, this recycle review inside a card view, so we need to create a card view and that card view is gonna contain the recycler view. So let's do that. So now in here, we're gonna have a card view. Is gonna take match parent for the width and wrap content for the height. Now margin start 25 SDB and from the end the same 10. Now add the corners. It now enable this properties to enable the shadow and now add the constraints now we need to have a recycle review inside this card view And we don't need this uh, recycle view to be scrollable, so I'm gonna write here scroll bar and set it to none. And the last thing is give it an ID. Now we're done with this, let's preview our app. Alright guys, so here we have one problem, which is the categories, it doesn't show. And the reason is that this mobile screen is small, we can't scroll, so to enable scroll, we need to add all of this into a nested scroll. So now we need to add a scroll view, and inside that scroll view is going to be a constraint layout. So in here, go up and create a scroll view. And choose the second one, nested scroll view. Now this is going to be match parent for the both and enable this property to true. Now close it and create a constraint layout inside of it. It's gonna be match parent for both and now close it. Now take these two and cut them because we want to put all what we designed inside them. Now go all the way down and paste them here. Now we will be able to scroll down, I will show you. As you can see, if I scroll down, we can see categories in here. So it worked fine. Okay guys, before I end this video, I just want to make some edits uh, because I, I can see that this looks actually big. So let's uh, reduce its height. So uh, click on it 
and change the height of the card view uh, we put it 200 but actually change it to 160 now it looks actually uh, like uh, I think it looks the same of the original design and also for this recycler view change it instead of uh, 120 change it to 90 I think that's gonna look better so let's preview our app And yeah, as you can see, that's actually better because I want to be able to see the categories without scrolling. That was everything about this video and we will connect to our API and we will use retrofit with a view model in the next video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.